smugglers operating out of Colombia has formed a near monopoly on the processing and sale of cocaine. The cocaine problem begins high in the Andes Mountains. Illicit drugs and its trade are the single largest source of organized crime groups funding around the world. Cocaine trafficking, as uh, all the drugs, uh, you have uh, traffickers may want to maximize profit while avoiding risk. The dynamic uh, of trafficking organization is always to find the point of less resistance. Traditionally, cocaine produced in uh, the Andean countries uh, you know, goes to the major cocaine user markets that are in the United States and Europe. And so, around the 2000, West Africa has emerged as a, a transit hub for cocaine transiting to uh, Europe. And uh, a country that emerged particularly vulnerable to this trade has been Guinea-Bissau, with very direct link also with the Colombian uh, cartel. And so, uh, they have established this connection and then so, tons of cocaine going through Guinea-Bissau with uh, uh, high impunity. And we started seeing European countries reporting that they were receiving their cocaine through West Africa. You have to think about, uh, for example, a kilo of cocaine in Colombia is about 1,500 uh, US dollars. Uh, if you sell it uh, in the United States, uh, the same kilo could be around 150,000. In Europe, uh, the same kilo uh, may be around 100,000. So you see the great profit that uh, traffickers can make uh, with cocaine. And uh, the majority of the cocaine that uh, is produced goes to this major market. Suddenly last year, we have seen uh, two big seizures, one of almost 800 kilos and one of 1.8 tons of cocaine happening in Bissau. And uh, the biggest seizure that uh, was mentioned, the 1.8 tons, uh, according to the government officials, they said that the destination was uh, to terrorist groups in the Sahel. Drug trafficking has an impact not only on the rule of law, on undermining the law enforcement institutions in a country, but also has an impact on the population itself that becomes increasingly used and addicted to the drug. What we need to solve uh, the organized crime problem uh, is uh, working with uh, the communities uh, to understand what are the vulnerabilities of communities in terms of development, uh, education, uh, rule of law that can protect community. The United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime uh, uh, work uh, uh, in Guinea-Bissau but also in the whole West Africa First of all, to support countries to engage and to upgrade their skills in terms of law enforcement, in terms of judicial sectors, and so to provide training, but also to work with institutions to improve the legislation that is around not only drug trafficking, but also organized crime in general try to bring together all the intelligence community of the different countries to try to share intelligence so that uh, together uh, you know, they can be more effective. The symptoms of the drug trafficking and how much drug trafficking impact the, um, the nations in West Africa is also an issue of uh, giving alternatives to people to establish uh, licit and clean uh, business instead of going to um, illicit business. It is an issue of uh, providing the right rule of law, so to build institutions uh, and the presence, of, uh, the presence of the state that then can help uh, actors uh, in countries uh, um, to go away from uh, drug trafficking. <laughs>